What's up everybody? Howdy y'all. This is Francisco. We just finished our fifth adventure, <laughs> Valley of Fires, and uh, this is the afterthoughts. Yep, we just got out of an alien world where every floor was black yep. and holy and sharp and hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely covered with snow. I literally feel like I came off an alien planet. Yeah. That's yeah, the best way to I describe can, it. I can say that. So, uh, with this uh, journey being done, how does, uh, how does everybody feel? Like, mentally and physically? Mentally, I was bummed because I felt like a quitter because um, we didn't get to the volcano, but then when I really saw what, what, what we were up against, I was like, there's no way. It's a task that would just get you killed so instead of um trying to ram into it like a sheep bighorn sheep you know those are out there <laughs> we decided to be human and change our strategy and we'll definitely hit this one up again i guess but we gotta do it differently yeah yeah definitely francisco how did you feel mentally and physically um like after and mentally i feel i feel pretty good physically i'm more tired and um I'm glad the pack's off, so I'll like I get I get my mobility back. But light as a feather. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, got that turtle hermit training. Yeah. <laughs> my legs feel stronger already. <laughs> but all in all, it was awesome. It was such a good experience. So, how do you feel, Wade, after doing all this craziness? This is actually my third attempt at the volcano. I did it when I was young, about like maybe middle school, and then I did it again. <laughs> Bleep that out. And I did it again uh, after I got out of high school, and this is my third attempt. And it's difficult. You can't walk a straight line in there. It's so difficult. It is another world. It yeah, is. Definitely. Crazy thing that we found out is there's buried treasure in there, speculatively. Maybe we might look for it. Maybe we might not. But if we find it, we're not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> And just so you're wondering, we're not fresh off the trail, actually. We're in a Alamogordo filming this at a truck stop. <laughs> Gotta be raw, man. So, Francisco, after this journey, how, to, how, to, how do you look at, look at yourself, like, backpacking-wise? You know, this is my second time backpacking, and, you know, like, every time, it doesn't get easier. <laughs> but, it, oh, man, it's such an experience, like, being able to, to take all your things with you. And travel longer and be able to stay and stuff and like take it all in i would do it again honestly i love backpacking Heck yeah cool. backpacking i cool. mean sounds like you're gonna be a return guest Yo. so are you gonna so the, the million dollar question is are we gonna go look for that treasure <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dude, i feel like going in was easier than coming back out or what if really you yeah. felt like going in was easier than coming it was back a lot out. easier plus there was less snow so, it was yeah. like, so coming ah. back out was harder for you? Yeah, most definitely. See, yeah, for me, going in seemed harder than coming back out. Maybe it's because you hit that cactus. Oh, so this guy hit did. a cactus. Oh, true. And it got stuck in my foot. Like, it was, I didn't even move my foot after I got poked by it because I didn't want the, the barb to break off in my foot. So I just, like, stopped and I got a multi tool and that shit felt nasty pulling it out of my foot. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. So gross. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, we've done five terrains so far in our, our episodes, and wow, they've all been completely <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know what? I give Francisco here props because he went in there like a trooper. <laughs> I was all like, hey, Francisco, there's a storm coming. I think we can make it till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to rain tomorrow and the next day. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> That's this so guy. optimistic, man. He is so optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> we have two jugs of water. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. You'll you'll see too. Uh, uh, our jugs were dropping off like flies. Yep. And cactuses were on. Time to invest in some more better gear. <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out a smart way to carry water in the desert. Cause the I mean, cactuses. I have mine cannon yeah, those cactuses. but they're not big enough. Like, yeah. Man. They're only like single. You need like like a big one. Yeah. Yeah. When you're going into a place with no, absolutely no water. Yeah. I mean, there was snow. No water and lots yeah. of cactuses. Here's the thing, there was snow, 
but I guess it came from one, the direction from the Trinity site. And I don't know if you know where the Trinity site is. So we were warned not to drink it. Tell them about the Trinity site. Oh, the Trinity site's the, the test site for the first nuclear warhead, I believe. I knew, I knew it was a, it's a, basically a nuclear warhead they tested out a uh, mountain range over. Pretty so, nasty. Don't drink the water that comes through there. At least the Trinity site. There is no water in the Trinity site, though. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no, 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 no. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> so, for this trail, what we're going to need the next time if to complete this is we're going to definitely need knee pads and elbow pads and shin guards. For sure. Because it was just sharp, hard rock. There was no soft... And and a helmet. And, and a, a helmet. helmet. Uh-huh. Like a little light helmet. Because we all of us hit our heads in the cave. <laughs> Luckily, we were all wearing yeah. our beanies. For, like, not even because it was cold. Like, it was cold, but we were wearing it, like, so we didn't hit our head hard <laughs> when we were in the cave. Another thing that would take um, is a Z-pad. Would you do it again? I would. I would do it again. Would you do the same hike again? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would do the same hike. What uh, what was the worst thing that you found on the trip? Mm, I think the worst thing for me on the trip was let me see. Oh, whenever the snow started getting thicker, like when it was falling, that that to me was a trigger. I was like, oh man, we're oh gonna, yeah, who knows what's gonna happen in the morning because we're just stuck there. It was. I knew, I knew it was a trigger on Francisco because like I looked at him and I guess a snowflake hit him in the eye. <laughs> and he's like, I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> what tarnish is this? He's like, it hit me in the eye. Because he was quiet and cool the rest of the time, but that <laughs> snowflake triggered him. <laughs> he was like, each one keeps uniquely hitting me in the eye. Yeah. He's damn it's a different snowflakes. kind of pain every time. <laughs> <laughs> so Francisco. How do you feel as a human being after like, <laughs> like going out there and living in a cave? I feel very grounded. Um, I feel I feel grateful that I'm able to do the things that I do and experience this without repercussions. So this is awesome. This is a really really good experience, man. I'm pretty yeah. grateful that, that for that cave. Just I, think, <laughs> I think all of us are grateful for that cave. Yeah, Thank if it you. wasn't for that yeah. cave. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You can't take a tent out there. There's nowhere to set a tent. Nope. Yeah. You'll tear it up all on the bottom. Or you'll freeze. I mean, we thought we found a place to set the tent, but guess what? That was only like 10 yards into the valley of fire. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, After you wow. pass that point, there's no... Yeah. There's nothing. You have to like serpentine through this like maze of... Cracks and yeah. crevices and magma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, we are obscure terrain, and we're fresh <laughs> off the trail. And that was episode five. And this is Francisco. And as always, subscribe <laughs> and bang the bell. Ow! Later, guys. Oh, one more thing. As as it's exiting, look up Francisco's stuff. It's Drifter. You can find him on Facebook. We'll tag everything down below. Hey.